Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Try It with Tracy. The response has been overwhelming. Oh, I'm trying to hide my vacuum. The response has been overwhelming. Welcome to my studio, and I'm back again with another episode, episode, segment with Try It with Tracy, and I'm going to talk today about paper. Paper, paper, paper. I use a lot of it, and I've had a lot of experience using lots of different types of paper. So I'm going to share that. I get asked all the time, uh, do I work on both sides? Do I prefer perforated? Do I pair, prefer gummed at the top? Watercolor versus mixed media. What is the difference between the two? Can I use just normal paper? So let me start by saying traveling. Traveling, I tend to keep it down to a smaller size. I This is the one I'm currently working in right now. It is a mixed media book. It is 7 by 10 inches. I absolutely love it. It's kind of about the max size I will go to because it perfectly fits in this pocket. Any larger and it doesn't really fit in this bag that I have to travel in. So, and plus it fits perfectly on a tray table in front of you. You don't feel like you're opening it up and the guy next to you is holding your pad of paper. So I love it. I love this uh, pound of paper. It is 98 pounds. So it's not an expensive journal uh, and I love it. Uh, the last one I used was 5.5 by 8.5. It was a little bit smaller. Again, I loved this size. This was a 90 pound paper. So for traveling, I'll show this and I will show this. So again, this is what I use for travel. I will say that the upside of this one that I have found, the Canson one, is that it is perforated. So if I wanted to go ahead and tear something out in my journal, which I could easily, it's perforated and I can just tear it out. The people ask me all the time, why don't I work on both sides of the paper? I don't. I used to, I don't anymore. The reason being is a lot of times I use these as concepts. I also sell my artwork, I sell my originals, and I work with a licensing agent. So if something needs to be sent to her, I can easily tear it out and then the other piece of work wouldn't be um, compromised. Also, just to avoid um, the messiness of having the pages intermingle. Now, these don't leak through. It doesn't leak through to the back. However, the edges start to get a little bit of wear and tear when you're working, for example, on the back of this one. I bloopered some stuff on it just from being on my work surface. So that's another reason. When I'm on my work surface, I don't want to have to be careful that I've ruined a previous piece of art. So that's just my reasoning. I used to work on both sides of the paper, but that was, no, long time ago. So I will talk to you about spiral bound. I used to do a lot with just having, I like to have my concepts all together. So this was a spiral bound book and it was quite large. This one is nine by 12. And I can tear things out of it. It's not perforated, but, it, but I used, okay, see, I used to work on both sides. No, I didn't. No, see, I skipped a page. A long time ago, I used to. <laughs> but as you notice right here, I don't. So, yes, if I'm going to work across a page, I just do this. So the problem you'll see right here with spiral bound is you have to work with the spiral in between you. So that's an issue that you might want to think about if you wanted a sewn book, a sewn bound book. This, this one is sewn. It will lay flat and you could work across both pages. Okay, so my favorite, I will tell you what my favorite, my favorite brand is Strathmore and Can't, is it Canson? C-A-N-S-O-N. Those are my two favorite brands. Uh, I do carry in my shop, I do carry this size, the small one for travel journal, and I, I do um, carry watercolor. Basically, the difference between watercolor paper is the poundage. Watercolor paper versus mixed media paper. Mixed media runs around the 90 to 100 pound area, and uh, watercolor paper is around that 140 mark very heavy. It is what I work on every Monday night, typically, if I'm not working on canvas. And this is what I use on Monday nights. And they are gummed at the top, so they easily, you can just easily rip off the pages, tear out the pages, and you don't have any perforation to deal with. 
And I also, my personal preference is I like a vellum surface. So this is a vellum surface, not a rough surface. It's very smooth. And all of this paper, the mixed media, uh, this paper right here is, um, comes in 140 pounds. So this mixed media paper is very heavy and I love it. Um, every Monday night, this is the size you see me working on. I find it's easiest to work on this because it's 11 by 14 and it's easily mat mattable and framed. So I do sell my original pieces and people will send me pictures of them framed and I try to work in an easy, even easy size. So this is 9 by 12 and then I have it in 6 by 8. So again, when I'm traveling, I love that size. Uh, this is the Canson book. The, it's a 98 pounds, so less pound. These are my idea journals. And this is the one I'm currently working in right now. And I'm also currently working in this size, which is 9 by 12. And when I'm at home, it is nice to have the availability of the big size. So gives you an idea. A lot of my idea journals... Uh, are the concepts behind Mixed Media Monday. So they are what I build on and I paint canvases off of, what I experiment on. So I do try to find an affordable one. And sometimes I finish the pages, sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's just a real simple, I can show you. Ah, oh, I'm going over, see. So this page right now, I was just trying out pastel colors haven't really even finished it. Don't know if I will, but um, it's an idea book. So I share I share a lot of my pages from my travel art journals uh, right on my blog, www.tracywinesafflestudios.com slash blog. And if you would like to visit my shop and purchase any of these papers I talked about, same www.tracywinesafflestudios.com slash shop. And I have it under, I believe, mediums or paper and art journals. I want to thank you for joining me. I have a vacuum cleaner that is waiting for me right there. And I have an art studio that I have to clean up. So I thank you for try some, tr joining me for Try Something with Tracy. And all your ideas and suggestions, I'm just going down the list. Enjoy and have an awesome day.